In this video, we'll show how to set up um, the amplifier with all of the settings for a certain size air plug. In this case, uh, this is going to be a 1 inch 757 master, and if you can see this, a 1 inch 757 air plug. The air plug just gets screwed directly onto uh, the end of the hose. You do not need any sealant or uh, pipe tape or anything like that. It create, There's an O-ring in the bottom of this pocket here and it creates a face seal. All you need is some light hand pressure. Don't use a wrench. It's not necessary. Um, now we come to our electronics. We are going to set up, I've already set this up, but I'm going to show you exactly how we do it in the, in the settings. But what we're seeing here is uh, our master value, 1 inch 757. And this little icon here, the datum symbol, indicates that we have already mastered it to this size. Uh, and we'll do that again. The large bar in the middle is your actual reading value. Now, at the moment, the air is off, so it's not actually doing any reading. But um, then we have outer red bars, and those are the tolerance limits we've set up. In this case, we set for plus or minus two thousandths of an inch. The yellow bars inside are warning limits um, that just tell your machinist that they are getting close to uh, a tolerance limit, and maybe they need to make an adjustment to their machine or their process or something. Those are entirely optional, both the tolerance limits and the warning limits, you can use them or not use them. Um, and you can set whatever value you want for those. And we'll show you how to do that right now. Uh, first, we're going to press uh, this button to get us to the menu. The first, all of the size or, uh, information is set here in the feature menu. And we do not want to change formula. Um, the master value is whatever your ring is going to be. If you're using a min-max master, a two-master two system, two system, you will have another value where you can set up both the min and the max. In this case, we're using a single master, and so we only get one option. And that can be set up in the setup menu. Um, the nominal value uh, is the value of your part, of the hole you're measuring. Um, and I'm going to go ahead, and all of, all of the data entry for all of these numbers is very, very similar. So what you want to do is select the value you want to change, and you want to press the soft key under the check mark. And that'll take you into that value. Uh, the nominal value is going to be a positive value, so we're going to leave that as a plus. And then you can use the right arrow to move between the digits and the up-down arrow to change the digits. Okay, I already have it set up for 1 inch 757, which is the nominal value I'm looking for. Uh, so I can just press the soft key under the check mark to enter that value. Uh, in tolerance, if you want to set up tolerance limits, it's going to be an incremental number, plus or minus from the nominal value. We're going to press the check mark to open it, and if you are not using it and it's turned off, it's going to look like this. When you press the down arrow to on, you get these options. So you press down again, and now it's selected our lower value. And so if we wanted to change that, we would press the check, and we get this same display with the same soft keys here, and we can, since it's a lower value, we want to set it to minus. It was plus, and now it's minus. And you can use the right arrow key to change all the digits along the way. And when you get the number that you want in there, press the check, and it comes back, and you can use the right arrow to go to the upper value. You press the check again, it works exactly the same. Obviously, on the upper value, it'll be a positive measurement. You can change the digits to whatever your tolerance is and press the check mark when you're finished. And then uh, we can go back to press the up arrow again so that on is selected. If I had made a change here, here would be an icon uh, that looks like this with a little disk for saving. Um, since I didn't actually change those values, it knows that and it didn't offer me the opportunity to save it because it's already in there, in which case I'm just going to go back with the X. And you can see the tolerance limits I set up here. Warning limits work exactly the same, um, except uh, if you're out of tolerance, it'll show red. If you're in a warning zone, it'll show yellow. So we can go down uh, and 
we could set up our lower and upper values exactly the same as the tolerance limits. Again, I've already set this up. I'm not going to change anything, so it doesn't give me a save option. I'm just going to X and go back to the previous screen. The last thing you can set up is the resolution length, and that's the number of digits it will display on the screen. There are multiple options. And we recommend setting one additional place than your tolerance. So for instance, our tolerance is plus or minus two. That's a three-place decimal, and we're going to select four-place uh, resolution. I don't recommend choosing uh, either one of these unless you are using a very tight tolerance um, because the number on the screen will bounce around too much and it will be visually disruptive. Um, that's why we recommend one additional place past the number of places in your tolerance. When you get that, you can press check and it'll come back to the screen. When you get all that set up the way you want, you can then uh, exit out of the setup menu and return back home and it will adjust your display based on the values you entered. So 1 inch 757 is my nominal, here are my warning limits in yellow and my tolerance uh, lower and upper in red. And as we start to measure the bar in the middle will be moving uh, from side to side depending on the reading that it's, that it's calculating. A couple other important things to note. This is um, a number line, and so we can set the scale of that depending on our tolerance range. So, you know, if you have a plus or minus 1,000th tolerance or a plus or minus 5,000th tolerance, you may want to scale that differently, and that's what these two do. Uh, to add more value to the total that you see, or to zoom in more. And you want to get it a nice place where the bar is moving across most of the screen. Um, otherwise, you know, if it's set too tight, you're not really going to see variation very well. Otherwise, if it's set too wide, you won't even see your tolerance limits. Now, you will have the backlight to tell you if it's uh, green, yellow, or red, but um, it should really be set up so you can see the entire thing. If we were set up uh, for data collection, either via a USB cable or the supplied memory card, you would use this button here to trigger that reading, or if you have the optional foot switch, you can plug that in the back and trigger it with your hand or your foot remotely. Um, so we're going to turn on the air, and we're going to put the plug into the, into the master, and then we will master it, uh, or zero it, however you want to refer to it, with this uh, datum symbol here. And you can see we've already done it, but we're going to do it again in a minute. So we're going to go ahead and connect the air. Okay. Okay. Now, when you put that plug in there, you have to tell the amplifier that you're in your master and this is the master size. So what we need to do, let's put that in there, is we need to press our datum button. Okay, that brings it back to the center. And we're not going to be able to detect a whole lot of variation here in the master um, because it is made to a very, very tight tolerance. We could zoom in uh, a little bit if you wanted to see the bar move around a little more. Um, it's moving, but this movement is measure is millions right now. So um, we'll come back to where our tolerance limits are, and then if you are measuring a tube, as you measure, you're going to see this value change dynamically. Um, one other note uh, about this device is uh, if you do want to clean it from time to time, mild soap and water only. Don't use a solvent. Don't spray anything on it. Um, that's just to protect the screen and the buttons. Mild soap and water um, is all that's required.